Hey everyone, welcome to the Collective Chatter Podcast. I'm your host, Migs, here with my co-host, Charlie. And in today's episode, we are talking about the NFT craze, but more specifically, the newest drop, which was the DC NFT drop, which we are super excited so, about. So pumped. So everyone, make sure you smash that like button, leave some comments, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. All right, now let's chat some DC NFT Funkos. All right, guys, let's chat about this DC NFT Funko drop. So we brought this oh, up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we talked <laughs> about it before. We talked about NFT specifically, and then we were like, the next drop's going to be DC. And or not that the next drop was going to be DC. We kind of assumed it was because DC was announced because Warner Brothers was basically what they're now. They have that license. And DC is obviously a huge part of that. And right away, we thought about it, and we kind of gave our input, and we were kind of right a little bit. And we got the drop and it's now basically we've seen the actual redeemables and we've, if you go on the actual Funko digital site, you can see a couple of the commons, uncommons, rares that you're going to get as a card um, and the different characters. And it's pretty sick. I mean, it's a mix of heroes and villains. I know you had kind of mentioned maybe it was just going to be heroes based off of the redeemables, yeah. but it looks like the cards are going to be kind of a mix. But what do you think about this? I mean, overall, I think the line's crazy, but like, I think, think this line is super awesome, especially now getting to see other things besides just the redeemables. I mean, it looks like we're just getting a plethora of DC comic history. It looks like most of the redeemables are from the rebirth um, yeah. comic run, but I mean, we have um, Killing Joke. We have, I'm just looking at here some of the pictures right now. We have Kingdom Come Superman. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have like some Aquaman. Yeah, that Aquaman card it looks, looks awesome. I mean, it. With Poison I, Ivy. These are just, these look awesome. I feel like the NFTs in general, just like the actual NFTs keep getting better and better with all the animation, like the Scooby Doo ones from what I've seen they you know are just so awesome like you see them like running down the hallways and like chasing people they've really yeah. come a long way not just like having this basic animation and i i think the redeemables are pretty sick as well yeah i do like after seeing this aquaman card like i i really i, I love aquaman i think because my last name's fisher even though he was always kind of a joke and then i love that jason momoa made him, like, a <laughs> badass um I wish that was one of the redeemables. Like we didn't need, even though Batman's one of my favorite all time characters, I don't need two Batman redeemables and the flash one. I love the flash, but he does like all the other redeemables look like a new pop. The flash, you, the only thing you're going to really notice that makes it new is the NFT box. In my opinion. Um, yeah. I don't know if you agree. There's yeah, nothing agree. like that special about that one where I wish we've gotten something different. Yeah, I agree in the sense like Flash is a cool character. I mean, looking at it right now, like it literally looks like pretty much every other Flash pop. Um, the I'm sure the you know the actual NFT card will look pretty cool because obviously Flash running. I'm sure they'll do some of pretty course. sick animation, but that obviously could have just been a card, like you said. So yeah, Aquaman would have been the one that they chose to like the card the way the the one that at least we can see looks super sick. Uh, but yeah, just to kind of go over the redeemables. So for any of you guys didn't didn't see them, so the actual ones that you can get through Funko now, if you redeem uh, the entities, we have a uh, Batman, uh, uh, which is Gotham Gaslight. Uh, so there's that version. Then we also have the Flash, like you said. We have a Green Lantern, which is pretty cool. This one is specifically Kyle. What's it, Ray Rainer? Yeah, Rainer. Yeah, so, Rainer, right? I don't think we have a Funko Pop of him. So I think, yeah, that's I was going to cool. say, I don't think there is. And even like the look on him with the white and black, like that looks really cool. So that's totally an awesome one. We also got the Eradicator, which is, you know, a, like a Superman type character. And then the uh, Grail is actually Batman Rebirth, right? That's the one that's the Grail. The other that one is I the think, Grail. Right? Yeah, yep, that's no, the one that, that's the Grail. That is the Grail one. And then we also do have a Freddy. So this was the one that we didn't see. And we kind of like the first time we, we were told, like, you know, that the drop was coming out. They decided to do that little video with the cards. Yep. And it was pretty much all those redeemables we just said. And then they threw in Catwoman, which was so random. And we so even said random. It. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, there's no way that's a redeemable. And obviously we were right. And what we were missing was, of course, the Freddy Funko, which we knew we were probably going to get one. And it's him as Batman. 
which I could have totally saw happening. I think they already make a Freddy as Batman. It's not this version of they Batman, do. though. They do. But they do make a Freddy as Batman. Uh, this is kind of like the OG like style where his cape is like huge. Yeah, and, there's like, been a little a like side. hate on this one, actually. I'm sure. The I'm sure there has. Because it's like, okay, I already... If you have this Funko Pop that came out on the anniversary line of this dish of Batman, yeah. people online are ripping the head off of that and taking a Freddy Funko and putting it on that would be like, I have the royalty Freddy Batman yeah. Funko, which like, it doesn't bother me at all, but it is interesting that is the mold they chose to go with. I don't think I would have chosen that one. Yeah, but it's still awesome yeah. nonetheless. Like, I don't really. Oh, I, sure. I definitely am going to try to complete the royalty collection. I, I, I want that Funko. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and like, it's going to be crazy. I don't know. This line's going to be insane. Like, I'm just looking at it now and just looking at like the few that we've seen. One thing I do love, I'm um, be honest, like, I know we talked about the boxes before, but I must say, like, when it comes to DC, and I, they do this a lot with DC, they don't really do it with Marvel much or Star Wars. Like they, I love that they put the logo at the top and it's like literally a picture of the actual logo. There's no names or words or anything. It's just a Batman logo. It's just a flash logo. Mm -hmm. And DC does that a lot with like their pops. So like, I love like that look, like, cause you got the green lantern one, you got the Batman and it's like the OG black, yellow Batman logo. Um, So that's definitely super cool. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, I just realized that with the redeemables, they're actually all numbered like in order right from back from the original ones i'm assuming because now we're getting 30 39 yeah. 40 41 like so like that's what they it do it seems like cool. they're kind of it's, it's pretty cool if you have multiples and you have other redeemables um but yeah overall we said it uh it does look like it's going to be a mix of animated stuff so it's not only from uh original we thought it was maybe only rebirth which i thought would have been a mistake to do that but it seems like that's kind of where they went with the with the redeemables when yeah. the cards come out we're getting kind of a mix because we have a few of those but then like Char charlie said we do have a joker which i was saying like why is there a joker but we're getting not a redeemable but an nft card which is the killing joke specifically which is one of my favorite like stories like ever like that i love that pop that's a sick pop. i love like yeah. it was one of my favorite pops to ever get and like being able to grab it that card is going to be i think it's an uncommon so it's not like super super you know hard or rare to get 27 percent chance so that'll be a cool one definitely for sure the line is pretty big though like did you notice like they expanded it's a big amount line. of cards and packs and stuff so probably because obviously DC is very popular. We know what happened with the previous, you know, Scooby-Doo line where I didn't even go after it. Charlie definitely wanted it and went after it and didn't yeah. get lucky enough to get any because it sold so fast. I see this probably selling even faster now because it's a bigger line. Does that help? Because now we have more I, packs. Yeah, like I don't know. It's I, I'm like so indifferent. Like I do think it's gonna sell out quickly. I do think that's why they up the packs because they won. They know it's DC property and they know it's gonna be yeah. popular. And like now it's like we've been saying it, but I think this is like the you know they put the flag in the ground. Like NFTs are here for Funko, and this is what this line is showing. I though really hope we get these packs. Like I was super super upset about Scooby Doo. I will be. <laughs> devastated like i will be crying in a corner if i do not get these and i will not be a good day in, in the fisher household <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like i'd be the same way because like i've kind of been like liking some and I'm like yeah maybe i'll get those and not as much and like this is the one that i'm like i gotta try to get these and then if you guys don't know they're they are dropping this week so if you're listening to um, our episode, we, you know, we recorded earlier in the week, but it's the fifth, right? Because it's Thursday. Yeah, they've been, is, the drops have been on Tuesdays and they switch them to Thursday. Well, this one's now on a Thursday. Yeah. So very interesting. That's normally Tuesday. We kind of had our little thoughts on that before where we talked about, is it because they're working on a system to try to help, like I know Charlie said, where you could sign into multiple devices and you can like, because we've seen people with like tons of packs when you're only supposed to be limited to like a $60 value essentially. Yeah. So are they trying to help that? Is this just the way it, the drop happens to be? Like, I don't know. There's a few, few reasons that this could be, maybe it's going forward. It's going to always be Thursday. Like who knows? But yeah, it's the first one that's going to be changed up a little bit. So this week, so like I said, the Thursday, the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 
uh, will be when these are actually dropped. So that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, I'm excited for them. I just hope we do get some. That would be amazing to get these redeemables. I'm really hoping to. Yeah, um, but the cards themselves do look cool. It just seems like because it's a pretty big set, like it might be a little tough to to collect to get that real royalty. In my, in, if, yeah, I mean, it definitely, it. yeah, it won't be easy. Like you got to like, I mean, you got to put the effort in trying to get all of them. And I've now noticed, which I haven't done just because I don't always jump on it. Like some people try to like the hard, hard, hardcore people, they try to collect these immediately. They, they go immediately on the secondary market and snatch up them all up so that they have the royalties. I mean, some people I'm, I'm noticing like, oh yeah, I got like four to five royalty sets. And I'm just like, all I want to do is try to get one. It's oh my like, God. It's like ridiculous. Well, I, Cause I was going to ask you actually, that, that's good that you brought that up. So, the royalty, like for anyone who doesn't know, like you can kind of give a little bit more info on it, yep. but the NFC essentially has a process where if you don't get a redeemable pop, like at or a redeemable pop from an NFC card that actually shows that it's redeemable, there's a chance of still getting another option of redeemable version, which is pretty much usually always the Freddy one, right? Am I it's been, yeah, it's pretty been pretty much. Freddy. Yep. And pretty much. the way to get it though is that you have to collect all the other nft cards that are non-redeemables right correct yeah so like the rare i think or yeah, epic we go back. from common uh, yeah uncommon rare and epic yeah so any of those and you, you make that set and then once you do you can get a redeemable coin essentially to get the royalty version but my question was so all of these redeemables essentially are, are limited so you know they make them as a certain amount there's a very low percentage if you get the legendary or if you get the grail like there's a certain amount of them yeah but with the royalty is that also like numbered too like is it is it based off of like it, how many it, cards there are essentially? no it, right? it is numbered so yeah it's based off of how many cards there are and you know i think we may have brought this up in our last nft um video but you can like burn nfts so mm -hmm. which essentially erases them from the blockchain and some people are doing that because that then will bring down actually the limited number of the royalty collection. Because the moment you burn an epic, for example, that's one less that's in circulation that someone needed to complete the royalty collection, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, yes, there is a limited amount of number, and that will go down, just like all the other ones. Like, it tells you on, you know, FunkoDigital.com how many that there is an opportunity to be. That is not going to be the amount yeah, of like pops every, that actually come. Yeah, if everyone actually said, because I was going to say, at the end of the day, even if people aren't burning them, people know whatever, they're not going to be that many out there because people just won't collect the full sets. And if, exactly. like, if I have 30 cards and I'm not collecting the full set, I have mm -hmm. at least... Yeah, one of those for other people that they're missing, and that just means that there's some people that's don't open to. packs because, like, yeah. weirdly, like this. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory, but it could be hard to grasp your head around. Like, the pack is actually an NFT, too. Like, some people who are all about like the process of believing in the NFTs and that's all they care about, like, they're not opening their packs because they're like, okay, I have this minted number pack of mm -hmm. you know, the fungal yeah, NFTs all num numbered and stuff, yeah, too. that like. <laughs> down the line like oh this could be worth x amount of money so there are people who are doing that that probably in those packs there's a good chance there's also redeemables as well that yeah. <laughs> are being that you know no one's going to get an opportunity to get because like i've said in the past you open that up after the redemption period it's you can't get the physical funko pop so yeah which is yeah it's, it's interesting how people's like mindset I mean, is on that yeah because i've even read too like so once the period comes where you're in the redemption period you get a coin that's you know you then can redeem to get the physical pop mm -hmm. some people aren't redeeming them which yeah, I yeah so they're even getting too. that and they're not even redeeming them. so yeah. then that is an nft that will stay in their wallet forever like the little coin, all right? the physical ones i have like they disappear once you cash it in it's gone you don't have it anymore yeah so yeah I mean, so uh, it's, it's, it's weird it's still pretty early on to like know what is going to catch a nine like what like like if people are worried about value and like nfts is more of like a long game anyways but with funko it's very new like yeah. i know it's, been, it's kind of been around for a little bit now because we're getting more and more packs but in reality in the grand scope of things is very small and still very new so there's still a lot to learn on like some of these lines like now we're finally getting the redeemables out to people it's so like they're getting them in their hands on those are kind of generating a value market so like 
we're kind of seeing what's going to happen going forward. But I mean, we can't, you can't lie by saying that it's not generating a lot of buzz, a lot of FOMO, a lot of no, it's you know, generating a ton of buzz. Yeah, so it's definitely like something that is working. More people are jumping on board. Some people are kind of jumping off. They don't really like. It. So it's 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 going to be like kind of a a big deal no matter what. But I think this will be a huge tell on like where the market's going with Funko specifically in NFT because I think other than like Marvel or Star Wars, for instance, like having the DC property and having them in, in this form. And I yeah. said it before, we talked about it where I said like, I, I could see NFT collectors going more towards a DC type character than yeah. some other lines because of the, you know, the aspect of what, you know, these kind of look like, you know? So yeah, I, I'm excited for it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think overall the NFT lines are getting, they're getting better. Super, better. super awesome. Yeah. And like you said, even the NFT cards themselves are getting better. The animations are, and I, we totally see that. So it's, it's cool no matter what. Some people still don't get NFTs, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, I know we're both pretty big fans of it. I know you're definitely yeah. more in depth in it because you, you know, you speak to more people about it in the community specifically. But this one, I mean, I'm sure is the buzz big right now for people excited for the this. The buzz is pretty big, but then I've also seen some people being like, "What? I just like just can't. I'm not on board with this. That like this won't be more popular than Scooby Doo. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's like maybe there's just some disconnect. Like I liked Scooby Doo growing up, and I know it has a huge cult following, but to me, like I don't see how that is going to be more popular than this DC drop. I just don't. Yeah, like I don't you, know. I do think people, this will be their first one, not not even because of FOMO, not because like they didn't want to get into it. Like it's like, oh my god, I can now get Batman, Superman, Flash, yeah, like, yeah. He's like that are fungal. Like this is my time to get it. Some people may come in for this one and never come back until mm -hmm. there's something else that's like that's like the other good thing about this, which I like. You don't need to collect them all. Yeah, it's kind of like how I've been doing it. Yeah, I haven't yeah, exactly. gotten every line. I've kind of been like, all right, I can get this one. It's just that funny because like that's the way I thought I was gonna be. But there's, I don't know. There's just something about like opening the packs, and I just I I find it fun. Um, but once again, I don't go. You just you can search NFTs online, like uh, for Funko. Some collectors like they are going insane. Like I don't like break the bank. I you know get yeah, some yeah. packs, and it's like fun and like. I don't want to ruin the fun of it then too by like going crazy, trying to like, you know, wheel and deal with people, you know, there's people taking advantage of other people. Like it's becoming a toxic community, just like everything else, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, um, I mean, we saw it speaking of not to get like super into it, but I know we know someone uh, yeah. awesome guy in the collect and uh, in the community who pretty much got scammed out of like all his packs because yeah. he thought he was like, entering into something to win they something stole everything from his digital wallet stole everything and it's like dude that is insane and that's like the worst part is that like it's a digital wallet so like it's gone now like you're not getting it back like it's not like someone physically took something and you can try to you know figure out a way no I it's know. like it's it's it sucks it's tough but like unfortunately that's kind of like the name of the game in terms of like how it's digital stuff so you got to just be very careful be super careful out there with what you're doing. Um, obviously, purchasing straight through digital Funko and the drops yep. is going to be your best bet. And then there's obviously different marketplaces, which if you guys have any questions and like what to use, I know Charlie knows more of yep. that. So feel free to definitely, you know, ask us, comment down below, let us know. And Charlie could definitely let you know a little more specifically on that end. Because I know I, I even go to him sometimes like, oh, like, how can I trade this or how can I do and that? And then whatever. one good piece of advice, like there are a lot of nice people in the NFT funk community. I've met a lot, but there's also people who will take advantage of you and mm -hmm. my best word of advice if it seems too good to be true it's because it is yeah. um just so like you know take that advice with it if you do start getting into it and start trading with people because there's a lot of groups that you know people it's really sad like some people are now offering up like physical fungos to trade for digital ones and when they make the trade they just never send the people the actual Funko actual, pops. Wow. it's just like wow. it's super messed up so just just be careful but yeah you know nine out of ten times the people you're dealing with are awesome people and they're into it just as much as we are so that's what's yeah. good about it nice nice yeah so so that's going to be it for the nft uh portion we were very excited for these this next drop again 
good luck to everyone if you guys are going out there this week thursday may 5th hopefully you're listening to this beforehand if you listen to it afterwards hopefully you got something we're yes. hoping that we get something i know we don't want to assume <laughs> that we're going to get something like yeah. last time we will not do that anymore miss out on it so we, we, we will let you guys know for sure on the next episode when we're talking like if we luckily were able to get anything ourselves and kind of like what we pulled um but yeah i'm i'm excited for this line and i'm hoping that i'm hoping i get a redeemable but i'm just hoping i get packs that's right now how kind of me I too i just want to get packs and at least two like we said there's over twenty five thousand packs this time it's a lot both bigger premium and standard where i think it's been running around like eighteen thousand. I think that's what yeah, Scooby Doo was. Or something like that, yeah. so that is a lot more, but I'm ho- like I'm hoping we're gonna be okay. And word on the street too. This may be the first drop where like they've been working to stop bots from taking over. And some people are saying about going on multiple accounts, which like I don't personally, for someone who's not about you know ripping people off or you know taking the you know this hobby to ridiculous levels i don't think it's a big issue if you're on like your phone and your ipad yeah. trying to get them but they're acting like that's a no-no too. the people over at drop and that they're yeah. trying to like stop that i mean there has been times if i haven't been logged on to my computer and my iphone i wouldn't have gotten them which yeah. would stink if you're not allowed to do that anymore but like i've said in the past there's legitimately people who look like they're in like a, a war room at a news yeah. station with like <laughs> all these devices. That's what I'm talking about is ridiculous, but it's sad if those people ruin it for everyone. So yeah, I hope no one who's listening to this is doing that, but like Nick said, just good luck. And hopefully you are able to get some packs and please like, we are really passionate about this, especially myself. Like I want to know if you get them, drop that in the comments. Let me know if you did pull any redeemables and, you know how excited you are for this drop and other drops you would like to see Funko do in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So good luck everyone on the DC NFT drop.